Come on, skeletons. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications and you're good to go. We are back with another Nightwish Saturday, but it's not just any ordinary Saturday. It's actually my birthday and Nightwish are giving me the gift of tribal. So I'm very excited. If you're wondering what you can get me, I have an idea. Spend five minutes today just checking in on someone, whether it's your parents, your partner, um, a long lost friend, it doesn't matter. The world's a bit of a tough place right now and I think people are quite divided and you'd be surprised how helpful and appreciated just a five minute check-in will be, your phone call, a message, whatever it takes. That would make me very happy. So back to the reaction. I'm super excited about this one because ever since I started my journey working my way through the Human Nature album, you guys have been talking about Tribal from the beginning. So I expect big things. Nightwish Tribal official lyric video. Let's see what you got. Spooky. So you know we're going to pause and you know we're going to go all the way back to the beginning because that's what we do around here. Now, Nightwish have taught me how to listen to music a little differently, and I'll tell you why. In this album in particular, they have a theme of introducing a core melody uh, right up front in just a small musical piece, and that develops into something more, and that happened there. That piece you heard in the beginning that I said sounded a bit spooky, there was this underlying kind of drone sound to that, and then there was that nice melody on top. Um, made you feel a little bit, kind of like it was a bit ominous and a bit unsettling. But when Floor's vocals came in, she sang a variation of that. So they introduced that idea earlier, get you familiar, and then you start to recognize that a bit later. And there's still a massive impact. I think it's awesome. Um, loved what the drums are doing there. You know, a lot of that tom work, um, that snare kind of whipping you back to the beginning of a cycle. The bass is super, super busy. Very, very busy. At first I didn't catch it, but then the more I listened, I could hear how busy it was. There's a nice drive on that as well. There's a whole lot going on and it's only just begun. They create such a full sound just when you think they can't add anything more they do um i was wondering what the guitar work was going to be like i was pleasantly surprised it came in uh with that kind of up and down chugging which mimicked what the kick drum was doing um really like it a bit of open notes here and there to give it some melody give it some shift and then again the synth floating on top and it was first a synth layer that came in then there was another lead piece on top of that and it's just like you can't imagine there being room for anything else and then all of a sudden there is um it's awesome i'll go back one more because it's my birthday and i want to
Okay, for those of you keeping count, I think that's the third pause. Um, I like how her vocals are very primary, very forward in the mix. They're supposed to be they're the main listening piece there, but there is a choir sound at the back of that. And I think it is Jack, it's just actually her layering her own vocals. Um, but it's really pretty because it kind of drips. It almost sounds like it's in the wind, like it, it swishes around in the background. It doesn't sit in one place too long. I like it and it's been used sparingly as well. Um, it's not just full on all the time. And that's one of the things they do so well is they, they've they really pushed the vocal performance on this, not just by floor, but Troy as well, Marco as well. And I've been really impressed at how Thomas has challenged them um, to kind of take that vocal performance to new levels. Now that's gonna create a whole lot of expectation for the live stuff, but we know who they are, they're Nightwish and they're gonna kill it. That drum sound is insane. Now, hang on a second. I, I can hear her get more aggressive. Um, definitely a bit of rasp in there. It sounds a bit angrier, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's something underneath that, and I think it's Marco based on some of the other vocal stuff I've heard him do where he can get that rasp. And when he does this kind of speak thing, it's like storytelling. So I'm going to assume that's him. I may be wrong. Either way, it doesn't really matter because it sounds awesome and it doesn't matter how they got there. Um, the product, the end product is awesome. Um, yeah, just as I was talking about the vocals, there's another example of that. I like how they've changed that up. And what a different shift from last week's procession. Um, that was so message driven, Music took almost a backseat, but was still really pretty, still beautiful. Um, and then into this, uh, there's a lot of thoughtfulness around the tracks and the order they're placed on this album. Come on, Embry. Easy, Ampu, easy. Coming in with the heat. I need to hear that again. Come on, skeletons. Nah, man, we get the, the heat from Emperor. We get that awesome percussion in the background and we get the skeletons dancing. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Anyway, um, lots to talk about. And um, we'll get to the skeletons. Give me a second. That guitar work is killer because um, just a solid, great riff, feels heavy. Um, you know, those palm muting bits again, that opening up and then those chords ring, controlled really well. I like how the drums had like a percussive element on top of it and it sounded like it was more more percussion based um, instruments than just the drum kit. There may have been something else there. Um, re you know, I get the name tribal, but that was very primal as well. And I guess that's kind of the theme behind that is it, it felt all oh, that's awesome. Wow. Okay. I did not expect that turn. Definitely one of the, I guess, heavier tracks. Um or, or more let's say more intense tracks. I don't I don't want to say heavy, more intense tracks on the album so far. And I am loving it. Also, skeletons, get down, man. Get down. Such a simple but awesome riff. Stop. Kai, stop it, man. Come on. Um, 
we know he's an amazing drummer, but when he does stuff like that, and I mean, to be honest, that's effectively just a simple role, but the clarity in each note, the timing, the intensity, uh, it's a lot of things done right there. I love the guitar work on this. I've said it before on a couple of tracks that the guitar has almost taken, I don't want to say a backseat, but it's been purposeful. It's come in when it needed to be there to add emphasis versus, hey, we have a guitar, it's just going to play throughout everything. And they've done that again here, but it's really having its moment to shine. You could hear that lead piece coming on top there. And again, very ominous. Doesn't sit like it's, doesn't sound like it sits on any traditional kind of solo piece or anything like that. Um, sounds very ominous, sounds very, you know, dissonant at times and, ju and just makes you a little uncomfortable, but that's the point. I can hear some animals. Oh, something's happening. Um, this piece over here sounds like I'm watching the intro to like a horror film, like an older horror film. Makes me happy. Um, a lot of what they do is a uh, score like score based um orchestral work versus just a, a more band led musical roots and i don't know where the difference is really i think it's more in the uh, emotive nature of how it's produced and how it's pieced together um there is a lot of depth to their songs and that's because there's a lot of depth to the person who's who's creating them so i says a deep guy with a lot of kind of emotional inputs into the music and I think it shows and I think it shows a lot of um intelligence emotional intelligence is probably the best way to phrase that I really like this song I really like this song a lot I'm going to listen to this all day is that drone at the bottom it's buzzing Where are we going now? Okay, so yeah, yeah, pause, pause. Um, uh, okay, so that is essentially very tribal sounding drums. It's that very kind of African inspired beat there. It's 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 awesome, very quick. Um, it's not just on a traditional drum kit. It may have been some hand drums as well in there. Um, there's a point you should be able to hear. It, there's a point where the bass starts coming in with a. Um, it's an accompanying melody, but it's meant to sound percussive as well. It's got a tonal value, but it's meant to have a percussive hit to that. And it kind of alternates, it kind of seesaws back and forth. I like it. Have a listen. Okay, so much more musical led um, than vocal led, and there have been moments where the vocals are the are the star, if you will. But uh, definitely, if you look at the length of the song, where we are and where we've been, it is very, very much uh, more music focused than I would say vocal focused. Um, that's at least the feeling I'm getting. But that is a really nice beat. Emperor once again working extremely tightly and closely with Kai there, because if you hear him um, with those kind of gallops and um, the purposeful gaps that he leaves in between and then um, how he changes that syncopation to be on the beat. It's dead in line with the kick drum and that's really important. That's how you get power. If you can get the guitar and those chugs to line up with the kick drum really smartly and you can get the bass to work with that as a as a blend, if you will, that's where you feel a lot of that power in your chest when you at a live show. And um, it just shows you the value of drumming and how that... Um, a kick drum which actually has just the one sound if you will i mean you can play different variants you can play different intensities but it just shows you how that can add power to melody and be like a supporter of that it's amazing music is amazing
Nope, we're hearing that again. Nope. Ah, oh, Nightwish. Come on now. Listen. Well, that was a lovely gift. And I love that song. That's going to be one of my favorites for sure. Just because I'm a guitarist. I like the heavier stuff. I like what they did there. It was awesome. Um, a lot going on. I like at the end how they had basically four different variants to ending that song. They came in with the beat and the melody with her vocals drifting on top. There were no words. It was more just a vocal sound. And she was floating on top of that all the way to the end, which I really liked because the music changed, but she didn't. And... Um, there's a nice kind of anchor in that idea with her vocals and then the music can drift and come back again. And um, that was really cool because they had like, I think three or four different variants there. Uh, there was that chug elements idea. There was an increase um, of intensity, but then there was an increase on the double kick with that. And then there was the syncopated kind of staccato elements at the, at the end where it was like uh, that very stop start, but it, it sounded like when you play that kind of stuff, that dun, 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 that's actually not sitting directly on the beat. It has to be slightly delayed. You have to get that feeling like it's almost chasing the music. Excuse the pun, because I'm also a chase. Um, you have to get the feeling like it's chasing the music a little bit and trying to catch up. And that's how you get that elements of the delay on it. So that's very cool. And again, just a, a, a credit to their chemistry, a credit to their um, professionalism, because it's not easy to do. Um, it's easy to do with one person. It's not easy to do with a whole band. So that was awesome. Um, I really appreciate that, man. That that was sick. And I'm yeah, definitely one of my favorites on the album. I do want to let you guys know once again that Tank the Tech and I have a uh, Discord server. I will leave the link for that server in this video description, as do the Night Dreamers Reactor side. And they're a lovely group of um, Nightwish fans. I will also leave that link in the uh, description. If you want to know anything about Nightwish or you want to engage with like-minded um, fans of the band who are as passionate as I'm pretty sure every other Nightwish fan is, then that's a lovely place to be. So you can come and talk to Tank and I on ours, and you can also jump onto the Night Dreamers Reactor side and chat to them. Um, they've got some nice direct links to the band, so they have some awesome uh, content that they put out that's quite exclusive. Uh, there's a lot of history and information and and they're always sharing kind of the backstory to a lot of stuff. So it's very interesting. I'm in there a lot as well. So yeah, join both if that's your thing. And, um, you know, have a chat, keep busy and um, keep smiling because the world may be a tough place to be. But with music like this, come on, come on. Um, I like that one a lot and I like you all a lot. So thank you very much for supporting me on this journey. We're not done yet, but um, I'm very grateful that this album came out when it did because it's given me a lot of inspiration and uh, a lot of reasons to smile. So Nightwish, thank you very much. I appreciate you. And until the next one, please be safe, be nice to each other, and have a damn good day. Yeah.